explosion of tablets all around the world, games are doing better than ever. And today we're announcing a new family of APIs built specifically for game developers. We call it Google Play Game Services. So let's talk about that. The first new Google Play Game Services API is Cloud Save. Uh, Cloud Save enables you to save user data across devices like player progression and game state. So if a player uh, finishes playing level one uh, on his phone, for example, he can then pick up his Android tablet and start playing right away from level two. Uh, next are APIs for achievements and leaderboards. Uh, achievements are virtual trophy walls that make it uh, really easy for you to increase engagement inside of your games. And leaderboards use Google Plus circles to connect players and really encourage friendly competition, let's put it that way. Uh, so here we are in the world, in the, in the game called The World of Goo. And from within the game, uh, my friend Jay can launch into a leaderboard and see how he ranks against other players. So here in the public leaderboards, you can see that he's actually not very highly ranked. You can't even find him. Uh, that's the public leaderboard, but that's okay because he's number two amongst his friends on Google+, Plus, which looks pretty cool, until of course you see who's number one. Uh, now, uh, Cloud Save, uh, achievements and leaderboards uh, are APIs that we're launching not only on Android, but also for iOS and web, so you can have cross-platform gaming experiences. <laughs> really exciting. The next Google Play games, uh, game services API that we're announcing today is a comprehensive multiplayer service for matching players and engaging them in head-to-head -head competition. We know, obviously because you tell us, that building low latency, real-time, synchronous games is pretty damn hard. So we want to help. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to deal with all the hard networking problems and manage all of the device peer-to-peer -peer connections for you. And then the second thing we'll do via Google Plus is make it easy for your players to invite friends that they want to play with or against, as well as quickly find new people that they can challenge. So this up here is a sneak preview of Riptide 2 by Vector Unit. It uses the new multiplayer uh, gaming service, and it's an awesome jet ski racing game that's launching this summer. Uh, we have. Uh, Miles, Jay, and Catherine, and decreasing other of hype here on stage. Uh, and we're going to get a little competitive. So Jay's going to invite Catherine and Miles uh, from his circles for a head-to-head -head raise here. Uh, and he does that right inside the game, as you saw. Uh, now let's bring up the tablets, the other two tablets on screen. So Catherine and Miles are actually already in the app. Uh, and let's see, it looks like uh, they received Jay's invite, so they'll accept that. Of course, if they were not in the app, they'll get notified, and they can then go to the game that way. Um, so uh, as the game gets started, uh, the peer-to-peer -peer match is going to be set up by the play game server, uh, and hopefully in a second here, uh, we'll start playing. Why don't we try that again, Jay? Three geeks, three jet skis, a bunch of play games APIs. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so let's see. Um, maybe we'll just skip that check.
you want to at least show off your skills as uh, maybe a single player? <laughs> no, that's fine. Well, uh, too bad, because this, uh, this is actually a really exciting demo. Uh, and like I said, the networking environment here isn't the most friendly. Uh, but you'll get to see this uh, not only uh, uh, later today, but through the next three days. We've got sessions uh, that you can check out. Um, well, uh, we're going to move on. Uh, and talk about uh, some other things. Uh, uh, what you see here are some of the developers that we've been working on uh, to integrate uh, Google Play game services into their titles. Uh, there's actually lots of games launching today with many of these capabilities.